Hi guys, it's Bambi here, and today I just want to make a tutorial on how to use just like the, um, the drivers from the GMO uh, drawing tablets, especially the GMO uh, GB2200. If you don't have a driver installed already, just simply go to Google and just type in Gamon drivers and just simply go to the first um, search result and simply hit that, and that should take you into the, uh, the first um, into the official website if my internet is actually connected. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do that again. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hello. There we go. And that's the fish. That's where we go. Nothing goes right today. Uh, but yeah. Um, that will take you to the official website. If you are using Windows or Mac OS, you can choose which, which, which version you want here. So on the system, just choose Windows or just uh, Mac OS. Me, I'm using Windows 10, so I'll be choosing this one. Um, and the model I'll be using will be the uh, DP um, 2000. 200. Though I also have the uh, S620 as well. Both of them look pretty much similar. So if you, I think all the drivers look pretty damn similar. So you should be fine. Uh, <laughs> everything should be fine if you just follow the tutorial around. It just should help you understand things a little bit. But I'm gonna be using the 2020 12 uh, 11th version. So that's the newest version. Hit download and that'll give you a zip file. Uh, simply unzip that and that will give you uh, installation for the program. So just do that and just give it maybe a a restart or two. It took me two restarts to get the thing working, which is uh, not too bad, I suppose. That's a lot better than what Julian did for me, which is like a hundred different restarts. <laughs> um, so after res restarting and everything to open the program, uh, you get this uh, driver thing over here. Uh, if you don't restart properly, sometimes when you put the pen on the tablet, it's sometimes switch between the different screens and stuff like that. Sometimes a lot of issues. So yeah, I do recommend a quick restart or shut down. So um, going to the driver itself, you see a pen on the top here, and also um, pen tablet over here. We've, these are the main two ones I've been focusing on, and the third one is the simple settings. So digital pen. Here's how we customize the pen. And a quick note though, uh, if you have a different uh, Gamon tablet, so like if you have the S six hundred and twenty, and also another not another version of it, a different tablet. The pen's actually the same. So I found my S six hundred twenty uh, pen also works with my S. Um, the PD, the PD two thousand two hundred. So, yeah, really neat. It just depends on the tablet itself. I just put the pen on it. It works in case you lose it, I suppose. So if you put hover just um the mouse on top one of the buttons um you just click on it and you customize what the button does. So you can put a keyboard key in there, a mouse key in there, a, a switch function, multimedia, show, hide, lunch program, no functions. I mainly just stick with the keyboard key and also the mouse key. So the keyboard key, you can just click here and that will ask for the input. You can press a single key like F, G, D, S, W, something like that. You also put Control S, Control F, or Shift A, Shift F, stuff like that in there. And then when you click the mouse uh, button over there, that will just hit that command up. Or you can go to mouse keys for like left key, mouse click, anything on the mouse really. So like middle mouse, left mouse, stuff like that, switch function, just all the good stuff. So if you want to um, change the function of this key, just press it here and that will just allow you to do whatever you want with it. Um, pressure test that allows you to test the pressure and this allows to adjust the strokes and stuff like that. So how you want everything to respond to your pressure. Like you put in screen on the pen and stuff like that. So yeah, just click the restore default value. This is some of the error here to restore everything. That's pretty neat. Um, so yeah, let's move on into the pen tablet section. That's the middle one right here. And you got two different sections here. So you got the express keys and also uh, the workspace. Express keys you see all the left uh, express keys you have on your board and stuff like that. Depending on which model you have, all these keys will be different, but it should be generally the same, just maybe differently. So you click here and you just customize which it key does, just like how you customize the buttons of the mouse. Oh, not a mouse, the pen. <laughs> just, yeah, do that. And now is the most important part, choosing the uh, windows or monitor that you want your pen pressure to affect. So yeah, if you want your pen pressure to be applied on this window, just do that. I have two monitors, one on my left and one on the right. So this is my actual um, screen with my joint tablet attached. So I'm going to click that and yeah. Now you will notice something a bit, um, a bit weird about the Garmon drivers. That If you look at the bottom here, that usually says apply, cancel or just okay. 
uh, stuff like that with buttons to apply all your changes. It doesn't really have that in Gammon, so you kind of just close it and it will just apply for you, which is kind of annoying. So, Gammon, Gammon, have a look. Yeah, if you go back here and open the thing, you can see all the changes have been applied and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you just apply the changes and close it, that will just apply it for you, which is kind of annoying sometimes. Um, Sometimes I just like to change things, test things out, come back in without really closing it, but it's fine, I suppose. It's pretty stable. And over here, there's a button for the store, if you ever want it. <laughs> Click here, and that takes you to the store for Gamon. So, yeah, this is basically it, really. All the Gamon drivers should be just pretty much the same. It has this really simplistic style that I really like from it. It looks like something from Xiaomi or like maybe Apple ish futuristic stuff, which I'm a really big fan of. Um, so yeah, this is basically all, all you need to know the functions of that. Just set up something that you to your needs. And yeah, thanks for watching and that's basically all there is to it. I hope everybody has a good day and yeah, bye bye everybody.